Hello, my name is Rainer Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. Ionic is the most popular toolkit for cross-platform applications in Angular, that is web application and mobile apps. With its range of components that change their design depending on the platform, the apps look like native ones. Ionic is now available in version 8 and according to the release notes, the major change is focused on improving accessibility. We have a high contrast theme, better integration of light and dark palettes, and further features. For more details, consult the official blog post. Towards progressive hydration, we have learned that we will soon receive a new piece of the puzzle. There is a period of time between the presentation of the static content coming from server-side rendering and until Angular loads itself and adds its event listeners. If the network is too slow, and the users dispatch actions in this time period, and these actions aren't handled. In the old version of SSR, namely NG Universal, we had a library called Preput, which fixed that. The new version will use a library called JS Action, which catches and holds the DOM events until Angular is ready. JS Action runs also on Google Search and has proven its quality over many years. With JS Action in place, it will be possible to use the deferred template blocks, render them first on the server, and only when the user starts to interact with them, that is, dispatching DOM events, only then does it get hydrated. More details on the official Angular blog from Shatin Ramanathan and Tom Wilkinson. And that's it. Wishing you a nice weekend. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.